Hi friends, welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. This is the second video in the pool liner process video series. There will be more. I'm back. I'd love to say that I have tons done and you missed a whole lot while the laundry was running and I didn't turn the camera on. It is Sunday morning about 8 a.m. and I'm testing out inks. I did one with tumbled glass. It was a little bright. I thought, I mean, it's almost this. I didn't love it. So then I'm trying one with faded jeans. I don't love it. Part of it is kind of figuring out which direction do you want to take the journal and, and what kind of feeling are you trying to create? I mean, as a color, I love it. Do I love it with this? No, this is a little violet. The funny thing is I looked at what is it that Andrea loves? Uncharted Marine or something. And I thought, ah, that's not right. It might have been right. I don't like this one. I will use these both, but I won't use any more faded jeans. I think tumbled glass was better. I'm judging these colors based on how they look with the papers I have in here, right? I mean, they're both great colors. I would buy them again, I think, if they dried out. I don't know, maybe not. Do you use your Distress Oxides a ton? I don't necessarily have a system. I have my sewing machine out behind me. I've stitched a few things down here along the very bottom I stitched. I stitched on a page like a wandering ship. You can see it on this side. I don't know how I do as far as like my tension. I don't think it's very good, you guys. I also am not totally sure I know how to adjust it, but that's all right. Okay, I don't think I did anything else exciting. Oh, the front's kind of coming together. So this little flap, I rounded the corners. Then I took this thing that was from Nancy and I fussy cut and put the lighthouse on. And then it's a pocket. So it needs a little something. Now I don't necessarily want to come in with something like busy and distracting like that. I just have this pile, I'll back you out so you can see my pile have this pile of stuff over here. This is how I work. Sometimes I put it in a container. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I kind of like that one. We'll keep that in mind. Uh, what about this? Oh, I like that. If we find something maybe a little shorter, I might like that. This has a little nubby on the side, but not like. And that's literally how I do it. Now, we could shorten this, but it has such a nice edge on it. I'm not going to. It's right there. And if we want, we could use, I don't know, a bunch of different tan inks to ink the edges or light blue. I can ink when I'm watching TV later. Let's not worry too much about inking, except when we're assembling things. Like if we start gluing stuff in, like maybe I wanted to ink the edge on that. Yeah, I didn't think of it. This, I think, is the front page, so it goes inside the cover. Let's pull these stickers over because you know I'm going to forget about those. These are not shiny. That's one thing I love about the authentic stickers. So if we want, we could take a pen and we could put dots or draw or, I don't know, you could draw a rope if you're fancy. You could write something in these tabs. You can ink the edges. Stickers that are matte like this have a lot of options. So this I kind of like to write on. You could use this for journaling. It would also be a nice page to put a picture. So I'm probably not going to glue like a big pocket or tuck spot over it. This page is going to need something. If you think about it, when you open it, you're going to need something to tie this all together. I do like these blues, though, that are in here together. Now, if I was really fancy, I could put a pocket on here. I could probably glue a pocket to this and make it stick with Fabri-Tac, right? So we might do that. But I think maybe this side should be pretty showy. So we might want to watch for something. I wonder if I should have put this one that's way back here. No. Horizontal bold red lines with this? No. But I do want something to kind of tame the geometry of this. I'm almost thinking maybe... Maybe I want to knock it back a ton. Like, when I say that, come in with a piece of this and make a, a busy decorated pocket or a multi-pocket or something. So if I cover up a bunch of that, it would tame it. So let's just for now maybe clip that on there. You know, you'd think I'd have like a million paper clips handy. I've been decluttering and rearranging. That is not an excuse not to declutter. 
It's just, I actually use paper clips sometimes and I forget. Okay, so we'll put that one there. We'll think about it. This one I want to leave plain. This, I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe something shorter, but I love the birds. I don't know if you guys can see all. There's birds on here. She's stamped on here. We've got a lot going on. Very interesting. The only thing I might want to do here is round the edges. Do you guys like rounded? I just do. Some days, and especially like beachy, nautical, that's like casual, not rigid. I haven't torn anything yet, but I'm thinking about it. Okay. Um, what about this one? You know, usually I hate white core paper for tearing, but how cool would it be if some of this paper had a white edge in the middle? I think this is nice paper, so I don't think it does, but let's tear it anyway. If, if you tear white core paper at this point, you would have an edge that almost looks like, you know, waves on the beach when they come up and they have the foam at the edges. You could also make them white if you wanted. Here I got a little loose with my tearing. That doesn't bother me one bit. I like that this is kind of peaking now. This I might leave blank because this doesn't have solid papers in it. doesn't have very many. We probably still need to add some. I don't think we're to the point where we're ready to stitch this together. So we're going to leave that one. This pocket's going to need something. What about one of these? Okay, what you can't tell is this is strange paper. I think Noni or I picked it up at Tuesday morning. I'm not sure I have the front anymore, you guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe it was from a reuse shop the way it's priced it's woven paper it's all textured and I never really use it like they've demoed it here for flowers so I had it on the counter to die cut and then I thought this would be a nice texture in the book it's very different it's almost like you ran it through an embossing folder there were some sandy tones so I picked those up this is boring so we need nothing that matches this page right so we have to rule out can you see my pile? There's weird stuff in it, isn't there? What if the voice of the sea sings to the soul? The problem is none of these are easy to write on. This one's not too bad. This one's terrible. I could also back this. sure I want two messages. Here, how about this? Pulls in the blue from the other page. It's a little boring, so I think we might want to come back and maybe I could fussy cut something or we could put, maybe we have a sticker we like here. Maybe we'll put some stickers. I think we'll want to decorate these two. Like, it's a little boring for me, even, and I like things pretty clean. We could also go like this and decorate this whole spot instead of just having a little corner. Let's see how those come together. Okay, I did glue down the bottom of this without you. This is way too boring for me. And as I was gluing the bottom, I thought, hmm, that's why when I'm on my game, I like to make those before I put them on the page. So I think what we should do, especially because thickness is not an issue for us, we should look at the strips we had. Remember when I said, okay, they're, some are directional and some aren't. Okay, we could use, I don't know, maybe we don't have to call this directional. Maybe we say, let's cut a strip of this. That'll bring in all kinds of color. Is that busy? I'm not really into the whole crab thing. Lobster? Lobster. Because it's East Coast, right? Uh, no. Not feeling it. Same. No. Okay, we have to use one side or the other of this. What about, do we have a, do we have more of that red or did we use it all? I think we don't have any more that's the length. Hmm. If only I had like navy paper in my stash. I know, you guys are dying laughing. Okay, these are all going to be eight and a half, so they're going to be too short. This is from my scrap jar. This one I'm thinking. Put this a strip of it, and then maybe even, well, actually, we're making this. Does it have to cover the whole thing? No. See, I'm thinking this knocks it back a little, tones it down. 
We have a whole bunch of different navies in here we can choose from too. Maybe we could fight a strip of knight of navy. Well, that's that other navy, but still narrower. I know, it's kind of crazy up in here. Ooh, there we go. That's knight of navy all day long, and it's beautiful with that. So what I'm thinking is just to add some interest, right? We take this, we take this, we glue that up the middle. I could stitch on it. The odds of me running two straight lines, nine inches and not tearing, I think there would be muttering. So I'm not even gonna try that. I'm gonna cut this. How wide did we leave this? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna measure something, you guys. Okay, this one is two and a half. Uh, more than a quarter on each side for sure. So what if we went one and a half? How would that look? About yay? Mm, I was actually thinking less. Let's try one and a quarter and see what happens. And since we don't have very much paper, then we'll be pretty much pot committed at that point, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Then we hit it with this. Kind of tie it all together and tone it down. If I had a strip of this, you've probably seen me use that before. The other way you can do it is you can leave this off. Ooh, let's look. And you could put a sticker or something along that. Only from the heart can you touch the sky. I like it. It's too small, I think. It needs to be bigger. We could get a bigger piece of paper and put it on there, but it's not like the most amazing thing ever. There aren't really long skinny ones on here. That's a little weird. Echo Park, there would have been border ones, other brands. So you could make that happen. The other way you could do it is you could take Voyage and put it right there. Nah, I don't love it. I'm not really a sailor, right? That's not what I'm emphasizing. I'm emphasizing waves and relaxation and lighthouses and if there was bakery goods on here, definitely. Uh, the girls and I believe that bakery trips are a key part of any beach trip. In Oregon, it's not always warm enough for ice cream. Or it gets a little, you know, it gets a little bit rough eating the ice cream. It's always good for a bakery trip. What I was thinking about was, do we want to ink the edges? Eh, maybe. Don't care. Not sure. Sometimes when you ink the edges, do you think, eh, kind of wish I hadn't done that. I almost always like my corners rounded. I don't always like inked edges. And it takes a long time, so we'll skip it. How about that? Because on camera especially. Oh, that's going to be cute, you guys. I'm going to not glue that down. I'm going to resist the urge to glue that down now because we don't really know how long this is going to... Or where this is going to get glued down exactly. I had to look for the glue. If anybody wants to you know, message me and come on over to help me clean this place up. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. And don't get me wrong, my friend Noni would totally, totally help, but she has uh, guests at her house and they're all very busy and she's entertaining them. And so we haven't really gotten to hang out much, but we will. She's a busy lady and they don't like just sit around when she has family guests come. They do projects. They're like crazier than me. So actually, if they start working on one of their projects, we might have to take a filming break because I think there would be um, hammering. Now, where is it going to exactly end up when I glue it down? I don't know. Should I have cut it first? Probably. Should I be getting glue on one of my very few long pieces? No, I should not. So let's use the back of this instead. There we go. Okay, none oozed out, which tells me I might have been a little short on the glue. Now I'm going to use my best pair of scissors, best paper pair of scissors to just trim that right off. I try not to get glue on these though. Okay, I think it might be a little long, so I may touch it up at some point. It's just the angle right now is a little tricky. I, not intentionally, I think just because I was gabbing, I made that another tuck spot. Okay, cool. I didn't glue it down all the way. We can do that. I don't usually do that, and I didn't really mean to, but it's cool. Now, this one I'm not going to. This one I'm going to glue it down all the way. And I'm just going to run one super thin bead 
of glue because I don't want it to ooze out. You don't need more. I'm trying to see if it had any cut edges. Mm, I maybe would have gone the other way. You know how it kind of gets like the crimp from the paper cutter sometimes? Just try and get it somewhat straight and maybe take out the lumpy stuff underneath. Uh, it's not totally centered. See up at the top? You can probably see better than I can. There we go. And we call it good. We just glue it down. Cheap on the glue is better. You'll be happier, especially if you have like an art glitter glue. It doesn't take much. These are both nice um, absorbing papers and easy to glue together, right? If you're gluing glitter paper or something like that, oh, there might be muttering. I didn't charge my phone last night, so I've now plugged you guys in and hopefully that keeps you running. But you're sort of charging through a wimpy charger. Now, I always go back. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, okay, I want to see how it's coming together. There you go. Oh, okay, we need to think about this. If we leave this here, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle that because of the white back. So we'll either need to back it with something or ink the edges and maybe stamp some... Well, either way, let's stamp some um, shells at the bottom of it. And then even if we move it to another section. Now, I think in the last books, I probably used navy for the stamping. I'm using sandcastle. Hmm, how perfect. Did I use that one in the last one? It's darker than I expected it to be. But I just don't want my... I'm not trying to play up the navy in this book. Is that weird for me? I'm, I'm, I want to go a little bit lighter, like the sand and the light blue. I'm going to put this, like, here to dry. You know, I like to keep things where they're going, but not mess up my book. And that's a dye-based ink, not a thick, gooey one. It should be dry in a minute. We like this, we like this. These pages, they need... Hmm, stamping. Maybe I'll look a bit for stencils. I was supposed to do that like two hours ago. I got sidetracked. Before you sew it together, it's much easier to say, take out this page, especially if you want to use a paste and set it aside overnight while you work on the rest of the book. That's why I haven't sewed together. So I want to allow myself the flexibility to do fun things. Okay, so we have this page, but we have nothing in it. We need something tall and cool. Honestly, we don't have tall, cool stuff because we only have those two things. Did we already use the first one or did I just lose it? Okay, here. Oh, that's not bad there because it has the darker ink and I put the navy on here. We might use a lot of navy scraps because that's what's in my jar. <laughs> I don't have... Maybe down here, I have like one piece of light blue. I use a lot of navy. Do we want to round the corners? Well, let's do it now because what happens sometimes is I glue something onto it and then I can't get to the corner and round it. So let's assume we do. I think we need a cool pocket or something here. We need something. Either I need to sit down and make it or I need to look through my stash and see what we have. So let's look a little. If you're highly organized, this might be a little much for you. You may want to take a break. Skip this section. Oh, America the Beautiful. That's from my red, white, and blue stuff. Okay, we've got like cute envelopes that are kind of travel-y. Not feeling these for this one. I'm going to tip this a little so you can see better. I know, it's a mess. Ooh, one of these little navy ones with the stars would be cute. Let's pull one of those out. I'm going to leave this out. But Nancy made me more of those. I don't know where they are. You know what else? Oh, I see them. They're on the counter. Somewhere there's a little tiny box where Noni made me wax seals. And if we put one of those in, you know, like variety of items and textures really bumps something up. It just makes it more interesting. I don't know. We might have to think about cleaning this thing out. I don't have a plan. Either. I know, shocking. None of these are the right colors. All I'm looking for is, I mean, it doesn't have to be beachy, right? But it has to be the colors we're looking for. Oh, here's a bunch of stuff we should use for nature journals. I'll throw that over here. 
I have a UFO nature journal next to me. I'm thinking about starting a December daily too. I may have lost my mind. This sand color, we'll take one of those. Um, vellum, you can't go wrong with vellum. Uh, I could decorate one of these. Just hotel pocket thing. You know, it's inspirational. You know it's there. Oh, here's a whole bunch of cream colored tags. Let's use some of those. Here's some old... One of you gave these to me, I think. And they're frames and they're cream colored. Okay, maybe. I think this might be a Tim product. Are you laughing, Nancy? That's a long story, you guys. Okay. Um, ooh, look at that. Has nothing to do with this, does it? Oh, that's cute. Sometimes I make stuff and then I shove it in here and just forget because it's been so long. Here's a different size vellum. Let's pull some of those out. See, here's some of those frames. I don't know if those are going to work. But they might just work for like a pocket. Happy birthday. Oh, they're bags. Okay. Um, all the states. That's not very nautical. Green. A lot of floral and stuff in here. No, even I can't make that work. I'm just not feeling that. Mm. I feel like a lot of these vellum bags are probably the exact same size. I've just taken them out of the... Ooh, let's use one of these out of the package. I mean, it's not... It's a little bright and bold for our color palette, but it's water. I mean, how could we not? I mean, there is just so much stuff. I know. Maybe I should think about sorting through this by color or something. Oh, it's green, though. Well, I think I need to make about 50 nature journals is what I'm seeing in here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dog. He has nothing to do with this, but he should go in the pet stuff. I envisioned him on a journal page, but then he got lost in here. Sometimes I sort by what it is, right? Like journal page decoration stuff. Uh, see, these might be the same size. And sometimes I sort by color or theme. I like to keep us guessing. I don't know the system either. Uh, okay, let's use one of these. Anybody actually remember me making these? This one is kind of mappish. This one's too geometric. This one almost looks like water. They're slightly different color tones and sizes, so let's leave those out. Ooh, I like that one too. I don't think that one's going to work color-wise in the book. These are adorable. Let's just leave out like five of them and see. we got to make at least one work. I don't like to use the same... The colors on this are perfect too. A lot of the same things, but if they're slightly different, let's be sure we can get one in there. Oh, we could use this too. Could dress that up. Purple. I don't use a lot of purple. Oh, this is so cute. I mean, it doesn't work for this at all, but... I'm going to put it in the nature journal pile. Seriously. We're going to have to make a lot of nature journals and empty this out. Okay, this one is not pockets. It's tags. But if we find tags that we like, then we could create pockets for them or use them to decorate pages. I just want it to not look like it all came from the same paper collection. Uh, let's pull one of these off because it's light blue. And it's tall. It's tall and skinny, so it might be exactly what we were... Oh, let's try it here. It is white, but I can forgive it. Oh, it's not going to fit. It'll be a little bit damaged. What about here? I think what I do sometimes is I cut the bottom off. It's just about um, a quarter of an inch. It makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to see if that was enough... Mm, it's going to get damaged. It's very thin paper, so it's not going to go well in and out of there. There we go. It's just fun. Like, junk this up a little bit. That's why I left the threads, too. Kind of like ropes. If you are bored out of your mind watching this, please be sure to... Maybe if you're just feeling gentle and you want to say, Hey, Sarah, this isn't your best video. That's fine. I'm good with that. Uh, it's creamy. Sandy. I like that. Because, you know, if you don't want to do this kind of stuff with me, that's okay. These are totally plain. Like, this is probably watercolor paper. 
So we could decorate these in any way, like collage them, do whatever. They'd still be white, not cream, but it's an idea. These look like dirty ancient index cards. Okay, the first one does not smell good. Let's get rid of that one. I have some concerns about these. Hmm. Okay, let's leave these out here, but not put them in anyone's journal yet. Paper absorbs smells. So be super careful when you're buying at estate sales and stuff. Anyway, be sure to let me know if it's not a video you'd like to see in the future. I was thinking about doing a live again. You know, I haven't done a live in years. Uh, lives with Wilson were uh, tricky, to say the least. And I don't think Zeus cares. I mean, he's not even here. The door's wide open, and he left. He's probably sleeping on the couch on the deck or on his fancy fake grass. He takes naps on his fake grass a lot. It's funny. So anyway, if you are interested in maybe a live, you could leave a comment and tell me what you think we should do during that. Do you want to see where the day takes me? Do you want to see a certain type of ephemera? You know, these are like color-wise the most boring thing ever. That's pretty perfect for us because we can collage over them. Look, like sand color. So let's pull out a couple of those. I think Janie gave me like mountains of these. See this whole stash? I've literally never bought these, what do you call them, project life cards or anything similar. But when I was going this direction, I thought, there's probably some in here that work. This is a touch of red. We have a touch of red. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff in here. I don't want to bring in other colors. I want to stay. Uh, I can forgive that. I want to stay pretty neutral, like beachy colors. But wow, there's so many. Look at this one, remember. Okay, back. Mm, no, that's not going to work for me. That's just too much. Now, there's also, okay, there's all of these. She was decluttering. She was doing a good job decluttering. Probably to get ready for expo or something, right? To bring more in. Then there's these bigger ones. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. That we... Ooh, I kind of like this really creamy... Oh, yeah. Now, these are perforated in the middle, which isn't exactly what I was... I can work with that. Thinking of. But these aren't. She's got a lot of selection in here. Okay, those are perforated and they're kites and doilies. Little fancy. That's a lot. If I get down to the point where there are cards in here that I just don't like, I can always, hmm, maybe, intriguing, I can always cover them. Anything that someone gives you or you find in your stash, you can layer scrapbook paper on, you can collage on, you can put tea dyed paper on. They're telling you, always stay. Huh. Okay, they're telling you where this should go in your album or something. Oh, Forever Young, I see. But I'm not to that point. I just, just because it doesn't work in this journal doesn't mean I don't love these and I won't use them in something else. The funny thing about some of these cards and stuff, ooh, I said I wasn't going to play a, well, let's see, is that they, they can be an inspiration point or a starting point that you would have never guessed. Let's flip through this. I think it's going to be too busy and too landlocked. Yeah, it's all florals. There's no, like, waves and wandering. Ooh. Wish I had more of something with that. Well, if we want to get junky, we might use this. Sometimes as a project evolves, it gets wilder. At least for me. Ooh, that's a nice sandy envelope right there which clearly was not put in the right category because this is supposed to be just tags. And I don't love these. I don't know why. So essentially, we're looking at my entire <laughs> journal-making stash. I think... Ooh, I like the Be Happy. Uh, we can have some black. 
I think I have combined things. Remember when I made that? I get busy and forget to tell you guys things. Remember when I made that CD book thing and I was going to keep all my tags and ephemera and pockets in the old CD holder binder? Well, um, yeah, I never opened it. I didn't look in it. So I gave up on that idea. Some of these probably have too much color for me, but I'm going to throw them down there and we'll see. And I went through and I took everything out. I like this, but I don't like the flowers. So I'm going to put it in the nature pile. I don't like flowers because we're supposed to be out on ships or laying on the sand, right? Anyway, it, it, I just wasn't... Ooh, look at that one. It has a map and gold. I just wasn't using it. So I started taking things apart. After sparkles like sunshine. This is really big and it's neutral on the back. We might need that. Thank you very much for the difference you make in my life. Okay, I love that it has the nautical symbol on it. I don't like that it's a thank you card. I, I don't know. If we keep this out, we're probably going to cover this up. We're probably going to go like this. Or something, a better version of that, okay? Because otherwise, I'm probably not going to use that. I think if you cut it down, it's going to barely, barely, barely fit on a card. Yeah. I mean, you could cut it. I, I just don't think. See, that's an example of, I want to use the gold and all of the embellishment and not waste it. But the way it is, I probably won't use it. That's what I was talking about when we were going through the Project Life ones. Sometimes you find a card and you go, nah, I'm not really going to use this. I should change it up a bit. I'm going to pull out a couple of these. They're a different size than the ones before. You can see sometimes I pull a couple. Sometimes I pull the package. I don't have a system. And that's how I end up with things in all different places. This was color grouped. It's from that book I took apart. Feather. Feather's not really going to do it for me. Oh, uh, here's a bunch of like creamy vintage stuff. So I'm going to go through this maybe off camera. I don't know if there's anything in here that works, but we should look. Oh, look at this. One of you sent me this in Happy Mail. And I like it very much. Hmm. I'm going to put it with these pretty blue envelopes. And then if nothing else, it gets filed with those. Okay, where did I get this darling thing? There's birds and that's ah, nature. It's cute though. Okay, how about one of these? And then it's like a rope. Uh, maybe this with just a splash of blue. Mm, too much green. Too much floral. No. This is how I do it. It's very scientific. If it speaks to me, you know, this is actually like a mini tag album or something. I mean, I guess you could take them and make tags. I don't know. I'll just put that back in there. That's for another day. Little tinies. Oh, cute butterfly ones. Clearly, I had a plan one day. I'll put that in the nature pile. This one's a little rowdy for this one. No, yeah. Stuffs. I don't think these are... Um, These... I have these in here not because you're going to use them for journal cards, but because they're like post-its. So you could peel off a section of them and put them onto the page is what I was thinking. Probably not going to do it in this journal because they're white. That's just not going to speak to me. Oh, here's the thing that goes with the punchy thing that I was sure I needed because people were using those and I wanted one for my art journal page. And I don't know if I've made a single art journal page. It's okay. You can make fun of yourself when you buy things you didn't need. Ooh brown and sand colored tabs that Noni made me a hundred years ago and I was just commenting the other day I didn't know where those were. Let's keep those out and I think we'll use some of those sand ones. We might want to use one of those. Uh, just neutral sand colored paper that we can turn into a tag. Okay, I think that is it. We have reached the end. We've made a giant mess. Well, I have made a giant mess. You did very little damage. I don't think I meant to keep these out. Okay, so what started this whole debacle was <laughs> we needed a little more variety, right? We needed some tall things. Now this is only going to work in a couple of pockets. It would probably work, oh, this one. I probably went too high up on the page right here. So we might need to build a page if we want to use this time punch thing, which it's a little yellowy than the others, but it's not bad. See, we could put it right here. 
it might be cute with like an angled one too and that might hold it and it would take less paper. You might also just want to knock this crazy back a little. I don't know what it is. Lighthouses and boats and docks and more boats. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in that paper. I don't think I want a time clock in a beach nautical. No, there's no time at the beach. No, I'm not feeling that one at all. Okay, this is in rough shape. It's been beat up a little because I moved it around so much. But I think we can use it. So it would go like right here. Let's do it. This page is way too busy. We're not going to write on it. So let me show you. These were, hmm, gosh. It might have been Bonnie and Clive. At some point way back, somebody made these. And I got hooked on them and made a bunch of them. Let me show you how this works just a minute. It is just an old sad book page that I've inked the edges. Look, I even wrote myself a little note because I always forget and glue them wrong. And then when you glue it down, if you remember and you don't put glue all around the back, which I sometimes do mess up, I maybe shouldn't have gone this close to the edge too. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. The way I glued it, I glued this top because it was falling apart. So let's dig in our piles. Ooh, this one's good. It's a pocket this way. Let's see if Nancy has any of the right kind of color. Ooh, that's a good one for the beach. We got to use that in here. Find peace within. See the good in all things. I love that. Ah, I think I'm going to keep that for myself. I'm going to be honest with you. Remember, recently I said I was going to make a pile or a container of stuff for me. I don't know where that is. <laughs> kind of like this gold. Remember, that's cute. I don't want to use it in here, though. Oh, how about one of these? Yeah, this blue-gray kind of denim -y one. This one. And we can ink the edges of it a little bit to make it look aged if we want. What was I supposed to be looking for? Oh, stuff to go in here. I haven't looked through washi tape either. I can't remember if I have any nautical washi tape. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. The counter is so messy that the small items are literally just buried. I mean, there's just stuff piled on it. Now, she has, these are from Nancy, and she has a whole bunch of different colors in here. And I want to kind of get one that's not bright. See, these are bright. How about like a, this one? What is this? I don't know. Ooh, or a black one. Ooh, let's see this like earth tony one and see what you can do is you fill in these pockets here and we just start looking and we go, hmm, I like this. Oh, that's cute. And then we'll find something. My alarm went off to remind me to do some chores and it stopped the video, but it didn't didn't stop me from crafting. I just pushed go. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll cut something narrow. You need something pretty narrow to go in here. For now, we can just stick these in there and it'll remind me because I'll see them and go, yeah, that's not going to work. I think I want something taller. I don't think this is tall enough. And then we cut a narrow piece and decorate it up. We'll put this somewhere else. Okay. I don't usually repeat items in a journal, so we're probably done with these. Ooh, this is kind of good for nautical. I mean, it already has a flower on it. Nah. I probably have another die cut. This is fine joy. I think Noni made me a couple of those. Okay, I'm going to round the corners on this just because it makes me happy and put it in there for now. But I'm not feeling it as the item or the only item, yeah, my punch and I are fighting, that um, stays in there. Oh, that time was perfect. Every once in a while, you got to clean it out. Let this stuff fall. Okay. Because I don't like that it's covered up. I do like that he's like swimming out of there at all. That's good. I tore the other piece of this, so I think I'll leave it plain. Yep, that's literally my scientific method. Leave this plain so we can write on it. Now, I keep changing my mind here. I don't love 
either one of these papers. And I want a middle pocket or something interesting in the journal, but I'm trying to figure out if I should cut that down or add to it. Does that make sense? And it's all about how is the journal starting to... Oh, this is upside down, you guys. There we go. How is the journal starting to take shape? Oh, that's right. I am going to put a pocket here. Huh. Good thing you reminded me. Wow, that's going to be a lot. I'm going to have to figure that out. We might be better with a little darker and a solid paper here. Or if I just can't make it to the point where I feel like it's going to work, I could cut off the flap. But I just think it'd be cool to have it about this long. And if I could, make it a vertical pocket. I mean, when was the last time you had a pool liner pocket? Okay, then this way, then this way. It's starting to thicken up, but it's not that thick. So we can still add to it. So that's what I wanted to test before I cut that down. Now where's, let's bring this in. Let's figure out where we're gonna put this. It's very solid. No, no, no. Okay, this is a crazy busy paper, but it really makes me happy. Now what I might do is put this here and here. How would that look? And then not glue it. When you flip the page, it will tone it. But then when you turn it, yeah, I like that. Now you can just lick these and stick them on. What I do is I wait until I'm going to stitch it. I stitch the whole thing and then I glue it just so if I get things off kilter a little bit, it works. But I think that goes there. And then we'll come back and figure out something else. And this is how it works. And it can get as busy as you want. I don't think there are rules. I'm sure there's some sort of like art person that will tell you there's a certain amount you should have or ratio. No. Nah. I'd like to bring some blue into this page and I think this paper can make that happen. I don't want to just take another six by six and fold it. You can fold them different sizes. That'll make it more interesting. So let's do that. I don't think I've done a really small one yet. You just need enough to get them glued or sewn in, right? That's all that matters. It doesn't really matter if you don't have a page on the other side. There we go. There's a little bit of earth tone in there that goes with the red. Let's Let's round this. Who am I? Yeah. So this is just fiddly. If you are in a hurry and you want like a formula way, then I would say like, I don't know, maybe you waited till the last minute and your friend's birthday is tomorrow and you're in a hurry. Then I would say, uh, I do have journals where I have made like, I have videos where I've made three in an afternoon, like a winter journal plan for a craft fair. If you're in a hurry, don't round the corners, don't ink. Every time you pick something up, make a decision and glue it in and just go like the wind. It will still turn out wonderful. And you'll have fun doing it, I think, too. You can do this much, much faster if you want. I mean, quite frankly, I should because this video is due out tomorrow. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. I wanted to round that corner, but I glued a bunch of stuff on. My corner rounder won't even quite bite. I'm going to try it anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this stuff out of the pocket. That might help me. I'm going to see there. So that's the advantage to rounding the corners in advance or having some sort of plan and organization. That brush is pretty dry, but I hit it with a little bit of cream ink because it just didn't cut clean. And so it kind of looked like white torn. There we go. Okay, that's fine. But I'm doing them page by page because I like to see, can you guys hear my stomach growling? I like to see how it's all coming together. And I'm having fun. Yeah, this page is too big. Definitely needs to be trimmed down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you get to the middle of the journal, the pages start to stick out. See, this red one's getting troublesome too. What's on the red one? 
oh, that. Okay, so that's an example. I could hairline trim that. That's gonna make my corner rounding situation even worse. I'm gonna leave it. We have a cover that will allow plenty of room, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Do we have anything really fun for this pocket? We haven't added any tea dyed paper. We haven't added any vellum. We haven't, let, let's go crazy a little bit more. Okay, I pulled out a stack and I'm gonna be honest with you, it was legal size and I went, oh, that's not what I want and went to put it back. And then I realized I have all the room in the world. I can have room for flaps. So we'll keep one of those. Look, it's color wise, it's not bad. It's got waves and bubbles in it. Let's smell it. I don't know if it's tea or coffee. I don't keep track. I just, if I have fun, that works. I'm gonna use the waviest ones because this is a beach journal. And we want water and we want messy patterns. And you know, sometimes you're looking for which one looks the most aged. But here I'm looking for which one looks like it's been to a beach. Okay, I think that's all I want. Let's put those in, see where they land. Now, again, I've started making the journal. I have a vision for it, and now I'm starting to mess with it. I would guess one of these is tea and one of them is coffee. See how the tone is different? This one's probably coffee. This one is probably... I can't smell... My timer went off again, my snooze thing. It's probably organic African nectar because it's a warmer color tea. It's not like your basic tea, it's a little fruity. It looks great in this book. I'm kind of toying with the idea of what if my first page right here had some tea. Now, because I have legal size paper, it gets confusing. So I'm gonna take a letter size to help me figure out where to fold this one. I'm just actually gonna go a tiny bit short because when you lay it down and crease it, it always sticks out longer. And hang on, even more so, I don't wanna have to cut the edges off because that's where the tea or coffee goodness piles up. So remember how I said the door's wide open? And now there's a fly banging around in the craft room. Okay. Zeus and I were playing fetch earlier. I was inside, he was outside. Now we have a piece of tea dyed paper that I'm toying with putting right here. Remember how we were gonna make a pocket with this to tone the whole thing down? Well, maybe we leave that. And then because it was legal size, I have this big flap at the end too. So that gives some room to flip it out, add stuff. I, I don't think I'm keeping this journal. I mean, a girl can only keep so many. <laughs> okay, even if they turn out amazing, I, I have to pace myself. I can only keep so many. Ooh, I love that. That just adds some interest. Now, let's bring in this crazy dyed one. I don't like the hard lines on the end. Let's see if we can find a super wavy one that doesn't have hard lines. That has something to do with putting, oh, I know. I put letter size paper on top of it. Okay, this one has good wavy lines. And so then it, it made ends, which, you know, live and learn. I don't love. I probably would be fine with it in any other journal, but I want this one to look so natural and not like it ever encountered anything. Okay, that one has a hard line. Let's go, ooh, that's bold. So the color is darker on this side than this side. So I'm going to fold it so that, I'm just eyeballing, I have no idea. The bold side shows better and the other side is folded in. I know it's really smart if you measure your papers and do a bunch of things. And, you know, it's also smart to clean off your workspace before you start a journal. Those are all great ideas. Okay. Whew, I got a lot going on here, but I just, I just have to know. Yeah. Okay. 
I do like it there. I don't like that hard edge down there. I might even think about cutting that off. The only thing about here is all this stuff covers up all that goodness. So let's try a different spot. I mean, I don't dislike it. I just don't think the paper gets to sing. This is a little on the green side. That's a little on the violet. It's gonna cover it up. Let's find a place where it's a little boring. Mm, there's a reason this is boring. Let's leave that one, but it's an idea. I'll keep my hand there to remind me. This is crazy boring. It's right next to that violet paper, which I don't love. So, if only we had more paper. So we'll just put a piece of coffee dyed or tea or whatever. Let's be honest, I dye things on different days. When everything is dry, I put it all in the same pile. I only se separate it by size. Yeah, I like that. This makes this more interesting too. Ooh, look at this page. Isn't it crazy? That's like one of my favorite pages now and we just made it. And you can see the front of the journal is more interesting because of the way I'm working. I'm starting at the front. That's okay. Sometimes people probably never even flip all the way to the back. I have journals I haven't made it to the back of yet on a regular basis. When I made it, I saw it. Okay, I think I'm good for tea dyed. Now let's see how we're doing for bulk. Oh, we didn't get out any vellum. Oh, the pocket's gonna add a little bulk too. There we go. We're starting to get some oomph there. Our polka dot's beachy. It's kind of blue. That's why I'm asking. It's a pale blue. See it? Oh, that might be kind of cool with the coffee. I don't know how vellum holds up as the first page of the journal. If it gets tattered, tear it out. Kind of love it. Kind of love how it lays there and tones that down too. Okay, we're definitely going to cut it down. It's not going to be quite tall enough. Maybe. I'll see what I can come up with. It's been around a while, right? And we're going to use it somewhere in there. And I'm going to have to move some stuff because my big paper cutter isn't even opened up. See, you don't necessarily know how a journal is going to look or come together. You just start digging through your stash and then whatever makes you happy. And this is a fun one because I can just keep adding. Yeah, I kind of like it. That is going to work for me. Now, let's get back to the middle. Because this middle page... I don't know that it's a journal rule, right? We don't have rules in crafting and relaxing, but this isn't cute enough for me. This, because I don't love this paper. We could either go this way, which makes it at least a little better for me. I don't know, the other one's just too heavy. We're gonna have to take a break, get the alarm turned off, get the coffee heated up and clear off the counter. I'll show you the counter, it's terrible. What was I saying? We can flip it, we can make it a pocket, or we can put something better in the middle. And I think that's what I'm gonna look for when I'm on the break. I'm gonna dig around the counter and either figure out which six by six I wanna use, because a six by six is a little small for a pocket. I'd rather have an eight by eight, but it might work. Maybe I got overzealous and have something in my go away pile that's connected to this collection. Let's see what else. Maybe there's one of these where we like one side rope red. Oh, okay. If we're making a pocket, only one side will show anyway. Okay, which way do we like this? I think I like it this way better. So we'll go like this. Then we can make a red pocket in here and then we can decorate it up and it'll be way better. With me? That's what we'll do. I like it. Let's do it right now so I don't forget. Now, 
This is stupid. It doesn't matter. But which way do you want the wood to go? I think I want it to go the long way. And I want it to be hmm, about yay. It's literally very often how I decide my pocket size. Sometimes pocket size is determined by scrap size. Nah, that might be a little long. And sometimes I leave the back paper to show some and cut the front shorter. I'm not going to do that because I don't like that paper that much. Now, the reason that I leave paper that I don't love in a journal is because I didn't think this journal was for me. I'm going to wait to round the corners until we get the journal sewed together and everything's glued and then it'll make sure they line up. Sometimes if I do it now, by the time I get it all sewed together, they've jiggled a tiny bit. Uh, but anyway, you may love that paper. And if I didn't use every paper that didn't speak to me, we'd never use anything with pink in it. So sometimes I have to put some stuff in just so that we get some variety and we get some interest and we get some other colors. Because the thing this paper does is it brings in some green, it brings in some waves, it brings in some more blue. Can't go wrong with that, right? And I'm, I think I'm also going to wait to cut the punch out. No, I'm going to do that now. And again, it might not line up very well, but the problem is sometimes my punches aren't great. And if you don't get enough muscle in it, it won't, it won't go well. One of the things that I have done before is I will adjust the size of this pocket based on whatever I want to put in it. So we'll try and figure out what are we going to put in it before we build the journal. And then let me show you an example. If I wanted, I could cut another half inch off of this and repunch that circle so that more of this item shows. That's just personal preference and fiddling. Again, if your friend's birthday is tomorrow, don't worry about that. She can put whatever she wants in the pocket and you can leave it empty. My plan is I always like to put stuff in the pockets and then if the person that purchases this journal on Etsy doesn't like it, they can throw it away, right? They could say, nope, I've got better stuff. Look at that. I mean, we're pretty much halfway as far as decorating because I'm not going to put anything on these tea dyed papers. Probably they're light and they're great to write on. So I want to leave them. I wonder if we should flip the, oh, I did that so these two don't touch. The way I folded these, this one doesn't show as well, but I really do like the waves going across the page, so we'll keep that. This is what the situation is right now. As we've been working on this journal, it's gotten significantly worse. We need a break. I need coffee, and my phone needs a real charger.